welcome to JLive. I'm Laura Mandel, JArts Executive Director, and it's great to be with you for JLive, the JArts virtual series of events where we bring you bite-sized conversations with some of the best Jewish talent in and around the Boston area. Today, I'm with musician Zach Mayer, who just released his new album, Zamru, which is beautifully indicative of who he is and his work. And it brings his whole neshama or soul into this work. So welcome, Zach. Thank you, Laura. <laughs> awesome. So I'm excited because we are going to kick off with some music. Would you start us off with a so song off this new album, Zamru, called Shiru Ladonai? <laughs> Adonai Shir Chadash Shir Chadash Shir Chadash Shirul Adonai Shir Chadash Shir Chadash Shir Chadash Shirul Adonai Kol Haaretz Kol Haaretz Kol Haaretz Shiru la donai kol haaretz, kol haaretz, kol haaretz. Hai shiru la donai bar chushemo, bar chushemo, bar chushemo. Hai shiru la donai bar chushemo, bar chushemo, bar I know, 
Gorgeous, just gorgeous. And I will share someone in the chat said, you are so multi-talented, it's unbelievable. And I have to agree, really beautiful. Thank you, Thank you for kicking us off with that. Um, I should also mention to everyone out there, if you have questions while we're talking, please go ahead and put them in the Q&A and I will ask as many questions as time allows at the end. Um, so Zach, tell us a little bit about this piece and specifically about your composition process since you are so multi-talented. Thank you. Uh, it's nice. I'm feeling getting all these compliments. It's a nice way to start a concert. Um, <laughs> so th this piece really sums up my whole process in 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 a phrase. Shiru la donai shir chadash. You know, sing out to to God or to the universe or to the divine presence or just even to the inner light of yourself. Sing to 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 something bigger than yourself. A new song. And a shir chadash is a new song. And that's really what I'm, I'm all about, you know? <laughs> I like every, every morning I go out into the woods, into the, into the park across from, from my house. Which we or it turns out earlier. we share yeah. Olmstead Park. <laughs> right, you might see me now, now that you're... <laughs> and, and I go out and, I, and I, I sit and I usually meditate with a tone, a long tone that I keep, that I repeat. And then after that, I allow myself to enter a composition process. And this is really a part of the day that I look forward to the most. I've, I really carve it out every morning. And I let the melodies flow. It's kind of my, it's my personal prayer practice in a way. It's like um, I just allow whatever melodies are meant to come forth to, to flow from, from my mouth. And I sometimes will record them on even just on my phone or something. And... And I really just enjoy this process. So all of the melodies on this album, on Zamru, are, were, record, were written in this way, from this state of meditation, from this just state of delight and gratitude. Wow. wow, just beautiful. So, okay, with that, would you play us another piece, please? Ma Tovu. Sure, absolutely. And if you would like to sing along, I will just say, everyone out there, please feel free to sing. You don't want me singing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, right. Everyone has to be muted. But, um, but you know, here, here, here are the words, just in case you want to sing along with us. Tovu halecha Yaakov Mishkenotecha Yisrael Ma tovu halecha Yaakov Mishkenotecha Yisrael Aneni, aneni, aneni Emet Yishecha Aneni 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 Be'emet Yishecha Ma tovu Halecha Yaakov Mishkenotecha Yisrael Ma tovu Yaakov Mishkenotecha Yisrael Aneni, aneni, aneni Be'emet Yishecha Aneni, aneni, aneni Be'emet Yishecha Ira <laughs> <laughs> 
I, I hear and I feel the meditation, but Zach, what I think is so incredible is that when I listen to you, I hear so many different influences. I'm hearing the jazz riffs, I'm hearing the sort of traditional cantorial, I'm hearing this incredible mix that I don't hear very often. Um, and I know some of that must actually come from your family because you told me you are fourth generation of cantors. So tell us a little bit about your family and how you came to this. <laughs> sure. So I came to this it's true i studied jazz when i when 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 you're handed a saxophone or in my case when you're when you when you beg your mother for a saxophone at age 9 on your way to the, your on your went on the way to your piano lessons you, you you the first thing they teach you is jazz you learn summertime in the living is easy you know all those jazz tunes so and then eventually i got i studied jazz in my undergrad i took it pretty seriously and i learned Charlie Parker and, and bebop and all that stuff. And and I was really getting into folk music from all over the world, all over from Sweden, from Scotland, I mean, from Africa. Every, I just love, I became an omnivore, a musical omnivore. But then it was somewhat, something that I realized, you know, I, I needed to find my own music. You know, I was searching so far and wide, but I really, looked for my I was looking what what is my music the music that that belongs to me and then I was asked one year to when I moved to Boston to chant the Kol Nidre at um, the humanistic congregation in Cambridge and it was then when I called my grandpa on the phone who I knew was a cantor I said grandpa would you teach me the Kol Nidre the, the most sacred uh, you know moment in the Jewish tradition, you could say, uh, of the year. And he said, sure, but you know, Zachary, you are not the first in our family to chant this sacred text. I chanted it in my synagogue growing up, and as did my father. We were all cantors. 
and my brother chanted it as well. And so it, it, I, I started realizing, and when I chanted the Kol Nidre that year, I felt you know, that I had learned exactly from him, note for note, his rendition of it. I really felt like my ancestors were flowing through me. As I, it wasn't even like my own voice was coming. It was just like the whole, and who knows who sung it in our family before then. You know, uh, I was told that there might have been a family of, of vine traubs from the 1700s that were great musicians. And that's, that's my mother's maiden name. Who, who knows where, where, where this, we all, we are all made up of these ancestors and we, it would be so amazing to meet them, but we don't know what they were like, what specializations they had. But this really hit me hard, and I started digging deep into, into nigunim, into this tradition of singing these wordless melodies, into chazanut, into cantor, into singing. And, and now where you find me in, in progress, in process, is in this, at this crossroads of, of integrating everything that I've been influenced by, as both um, in my ancestral past as well as in my <laughs> living past of all this music that I've absorbed. Beautiful. Really, really special way of bringing things together. And since you have mentioned Nigunim now, um, let's yeah. play the next piece, Rivers Nigun. So this piece is very special to me. It's, um, I would say, very, it's among the most personal of the, of the Nigunim, of the melodies on, on this album. And every time I sing it, it feels like a new song, you know, so... I hope you, and I'll invite you all, even though you're muted again, to sing along with this as though you've known it for your whole lives.
I just have to say, it is my niece's bat mitzvah this weekend, and you have totally put me in the perfect mindset. It's like fate that we're doing this right now. <laughs> that was just gorgeous and just like the perfect spiritual place. Mm. Um, so tell us a little bit more about why is that piece so personal for you? Well, it, it happens to be, it's called Rivers Nigun, and I did write, it's called Rivers Nigun for two reasons. One, I was standing in a little bit in a, in a stream as I wrote it. I like to wander off, and I was really standing in water as I as I composed it. And I thought I was really connected to that flow, and and also my my fiance, whose name is Eliana, her trail name when she was backpacking through the wilderness was River. So people would call her that, and and it's not not many people know. I'll go though. Now, 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 all of you know, <laughs> um, but it's um, it's rivers nigun, so it's it's a gift to her as well, and so I feel extra extra connected to it. That's, that's the sweetest thing. That's just beautiful. <laughs> um, so okay, we are just about at time. So before you play us out with one final piece, will you tell us a little bit about Elul, this final piece you're going to play for us? Sure. So my, as a, now you know about her, Eliana River, a.k.a. River, she and I, this past November, got engaged. Woo! Yay! yay mazel tov! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, so I guess I have to play my own simmon tov, or mazel tov. Or mazel. So, 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 so it's been really wonderful just to be in this in this space and this this song Elul, you'll notice is is a is a is a it's an acronym for the Hebrew letters Aleph Lamed Vav Lamed, which stand for Ani Lidodi Vidodi Li. So this song is is my version of of that, which was a gift that that another gift for her that I played right before I popped the question. You are an amazing husband to be. Oh, <laughs> I love that. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I just want everyone to know, of course, that um, if you want the link to this album, Zamru, um, it will be in the chat. And, uh, and there's uh, some links to Zach's other music as well. So I hope you will um, become a groupie like I have become. Mm. Um, but Zach, I just want to say thank you so much. This has been absolutely beautiful. Um, and go ahead and play us out with Elul, please. Thank you.
everyone out there. I will do it on behalf of everyone. Thank you, Zach. Absolutely beautiful. We'll have to play more music another day. It's really just gorgeous. So thank you for being with us. Um, thank you all for being here with us as well. And um, Shabbat Shalom. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye.